everyone so today I have my Black Friday Christmas haul I'm doing it today because uh, Manny was off Friday so I was able to hang out with him and sleep over so Friday was yes and Saturday we hung out together because I always sleep over and I got home late last night like 4 in the morning and I got five hours of sleep because I had to get up to ten. But I got another stuff for another like three ish three -ish hours. So I'm still a little sick. I don't know what exactly the sickness is. It's just all in my nose. Like it's a very like runny nose, sniffly, kind of congestion, kind of cold. I'm not coughing. Excuse me. I like. I don't have like a scratchy throat or a sore throat or anything like that. I'm doing some normal coughing. I just have a very runny nose and my eyeballs are always feeling like kind of weird, like on and off. And I'm so tired and so drained, especially today because I got like five hours of straight sleep and then because I had to monitor my sister and my uncle leaving at between the time I got up at 10 and then yeah. this probably is going to be a long video and slow because of all of that so let's get this done as fast as I can which will not be very fast so let's go I went there. It was, it's, it's a little kiosk section that has like, it's like in the middle of the mall and like it just has shelves of stuff on there. And what I bought from there was this. You can see in the picture it has a bunch of stuff. It's got a cheese and cracker box. It's got a jam box and a sausage and mustard box. And this is for my Auntie Shelly and Uncle Norman because me and Manny are doing like gift backs, gift backs, gets, baskety stuff. There we go. And she said even though like they're trying to watch their weight, this is, um, they use it, they really like this. And they all, the Hickory Farm also sells some like sweet stuff so I'm probably going to add in like some sweets to this just so that not well the jams are already like a sweet thing but like more of like um a box of like licorice type of sweets or um quality street chocolates that kind of thing yeah so it comes with a beef summer sausage and a ham summer sausage hunt Honey and pineapple flavored prepared mustard. Hold on. Uh, yeah, honey and pineapple mustard. Sweet hot mustard. A smoked cheddar. Golden toasted crackers. Uh, jalapeno and cheddar. Blueberry jam. Peach jam. Lemon jam. Orange jam. Cinnamon apple. And strawberry jam. Yeah, so I was going to get like a, a different box, but then I saw this, which has a lot of it for a good price. And these, this is it's a really nice deal. Like they have really good deals on like their box sets like this. And oh my god, yeah. Oh my nose just had a running fit, but. A lot of great boxes like this and sometimes you can you can just you can get like individual ones like you can just get a sausage package a cheese box a jam box and it ring any it ranges anywhere from like ten dollars to like it can go up the, the highest one I saw was uh, like a hundred and fifteen and that's a huge pre-made like basket which has like double almost of what is in here. They're a great place. I haven't exactly eaten anything from them, but 
I've always noticed that they have really great packages. And pet value for all those pet needs. And I forgot about Kayla when I was buying this stuff. And it's like, ah. Oh. So I have a separate um, bag. So this bag here, it has a duck and a turkey. Um, like, uh, this is a turkey wing. And this is a duck foot. I don't know. It's a duck and a foot. A duck and a turkey. So there's that. I got a bunch of stuff in here. So I've got two big bones from the Nature's Animals All Natural Dog Biscuits. These are both the same. And it is baked with lamb and rice. A big bite. And this is for Coach and Sammy. I've got these two things, which are um, cow cow things. They're, they're beef. Yeah, it's uh, open range pet treats, 100% all natural pet treats. Made from free range grass fed cattle. No animal byproducts are added to their diet. No hormones, no antibiotics, no steroids, no preservatives, and no smoke. So yeah, it's just these stick things. Some stuff inside it. I don't know. They like it. They eat it. I got two uh, fish things. I should have probably just went with the veggie ones, but oh well. This is just a fish stick and this looks in the shape of a bone and these are from Murphy because he is a pug and he's got like a, a pure pure pug and he's got all that sensitive sensitivity stuff and I got two other things in here that are furry are these sausage things and I gotta find the, the big receipt to hopefully remember what they're called I don't know these are like I think these are just I don't know they're just some meat roll thing. I don't, I don't exactly know. They're just good. Yeah. I'm, yeah, sorry. Brain. Blech. And here I have two chicken feet and they're kind of greasy. They're a bit greasy. Wow. Blech. They're chicken parsley feet. Yeah, because these were um, buy one, get one free, and it was like a buck. So that's really nice. That's a good one. And that, I think it was a good Friday price. And I got these two big things for, again, Sam and Coach because they're big dogs and, you know, they can handle that. Um, the other stuff that I got are for smaller dogs like Kayla, Harley, Margie, Murphy, and Bianco, whom I see when I go get my chin done sometimes. Sometimes he's not always there. And I got six packs, so I got three of each. And these are for the cats. These are for Dexter, Oscar, Sully, Luna, and Lennon. So we've got uh, the we you er, 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 Yerva. I don't know how to pronounce them. Uh, cats in the kitchen. Uh, cat wet cat food, grain free, gluten and BPA free. And we've got pumpkin jack splash, which is tuna in pumpkin soup recipe. And pumpkin looking chicken in is a chicken in pumpkin soup recipe. So yeah, these are just for the cats, and those are really easy. For the dogs, it's a little more difficult. But yeah, that's all I got from Pet Value. And I can usually get that all of them in one day, which is really easy and really great. I went to Lisenza. I wasn't going to go there, but they were have they had for Black Friday 50% off everything. And so I got two more bras. Buy one, get one free, basically. Alright, so, 
and they are a 34A cup. So I got this one, which is cute, and I like it. And really, is this my size? These cups look a little big. 34A, no, no, they're my size. I like this design. I, I'm trying to find my bras, but some days they just don't have the prettiest designs, but this time I did find some. It's very nice, I like it. I'm sorry I'm not super enthusiastic. As I said, I am sick. I'm worn out. And my body is very stressed out because my body is doing stuff that is not on its normal schedule. It's not fun. But I like this and I needed to replace and I need to replace anyway like three of my bras because they are too big for me right now. Like they're like a 32, 34 B cup. And yes, I've always said if you want to have a bigger size, get your same strap, but you can go up in a cup size and you can get bigger boobs. But they just, there's too much gappage and it's not like, it's, it's not, I don't know, it's not doing good stuff for me now, so. Here's my other one. Now oh, this is cute. It's the same sort of design, just this one doesn't have any, um, glitter beadings on it. And look. Uh, it's me. It's got gold. Oh, they both do. But it really pops out on this one. Which I like. That's really nice. I didn't r fully notice that. I just, you know, kind of bought it because it was the other only other one that was, like, very cute. I like this kind of um, I was going to actually get a red, but I saw this and it's like, hmm, this is a lot more of the sexier color. Yeah. yeah. And these, you know, originally these are basically like 50 bucks each. In Canadian it's 46 95 which basically rounds up to like 50 bucks. And I paid, like, it cost me 53 04 which is basically, you know, roughly like 50 bucks. And I, so I basically just paid for one bra, which is nice. I got another one for free. I love those Lysenza 50% off, or sometimes it is actually buy one, get one free, those type of sales. But anyway, I went to Hot Topic as well, and I got Manny some shirts. These are tie-dye shirts, and yes, I have said, we, the whole thing of like, he doesn't need more t-shirts, but we're going with the premise of like, it's okay if it's tie-dye, and it has to be a good tie-dye. He's not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna buy all the tie-dyes. It has to be, you know, worthy of being bought. But we're, uh, it's not like we're gonna be buying just, you know, willy-nilly all of the t-shirts. Like the solid type of print ones like this one. It has to, the only ones that t-shirt-wise are tie-dye, because he does really like tie-dye shirts. And then the only other shirt that, you know, gonna buy all the time now is, you know, he needs more long sleeve. So anyway, we got this shirt. I don't know if he wanted specifically this one, so that's why I have the gift receipt. But here it is. It's a really, really simple, like, tie-dye, weird type of tie-dye. It's in an extra large, so it'll fit him, and it says, stay weird. Upside down. Very simple, and he liked it when he when he saw it the other day. And I'm like, you know, I, it, it would be a good definitive to know whether you not want it to get it because you might get it for Christmas. Because <laughs> I was there at the time, and like the Black Friday sale, which was on for Thursday as well, as on Friday as well, it was 15 bucks for these. So nice. I could have gotten something for me, but there was nothing really I wanted. I did want, like, I like the bendy ink machine 
it's it's very retro and I like it but there wasn't a shirt that I really really wanted out of the three that were there and here's the other one which was really nice that stay weird is specifically a oh sorry it is a black matter t-shirt where and then this one is from Bethesda the fallout one Again, another extra large shirt so it fits him. Yeah. This one I liked. My, I liked. It's my favorite because I like Fallout too. They're not crazy tie dye shirts. But, excuse me. They're they're simple and cool at the same time, and our pit boy is sort of like um, sort of distressed. <laughs> very very cool oh yeah very nice very nice uh, get out of the way I went to the calendar club where I got next year's calendar it's another Deadpool one and it's got different um, pictures than it did for last year this year's um, calendar and then the other, I got two things here, and this is a gift for someone, and this is for Lucas, um, which is um, Manny's step-nephew, because it's his sister's boyfriend's son from another mother, so, yeah, and I got, like, he wants arts and crafts, and he likes cars, so, wooden cars! He can make them, you can see he can make the cars, and then he can color it any way he wants, and you know, it's really simple, like, yeah. And there's stickers, and yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a cool way to do two things at the same time. I also went over the coals so I could get some books. I did order a book, and I will have like maybe a mini haul I don't know but I have to check my email but it's a book for Tatiana and she wanted something by Emily Blake and apparently it's a little secrets series and the only one they had was book four so at like at here so I don't know whether what it is what she wanted but I got gift receipt in case well I actually doesn't need a gift receipt just needs that slip of paper that's with the book to return it so in case it's not the what what she wanted then you can return it so anyway these books I got are for uh, Devin and Lucas and then the ones for Anna I can easily get from the dollar store so I got the next two books in the Captain Underpants series. We've got Captain Underpants and the Invasion of the Incredibly Naughty Cafeteria Ladies from Outer Space and the Subsequent Assault of the Equally Evil Lunchroom Zombie Nerds, the third epic novel by Dave Pilkey, and Captain Underpants and the Perilous Plot of Professor Booby Pants, the fourth epic novel by David Pilkey. Now I know there's like, there's a, mm, an extra book that is like just some activities of like, I, I have it, but they didn't have it at the library at the time, so I would have gotten it, but you know, you know, these are good. And then I got three books for Lucas because, and he is a six year old, so I got these some beginner books. Last year I got him some Paw Patrol, so I got him this one. And they're all relatively cheap. This was like six bucks. These are five bucks each. And these are step one beginner reads. So let's open the page. So it's just like that. And this one includes stickers. So that'll be fun. And the Bandstein Bears are just classic books to read. So they're basically, if you got a board book of Bandstein Bears, it's just basically the same thing. But yeah. And. I'm going to go online and check online to see what 
the Little Secrets by Emily Blake is all about to see if I actually have the right one. Because if it's not the right one, I can easily return it and, you know, try and find said book. But, yeah. And last I have Yankee Candle, and it's all for myself. I bought, um, I had a, an email coupon that went through for Black Friday, and it was buy something, get the, the exact same amount for free. So, like, buy one, get one free by two, except by three, etc, etc. And specifically for Black Friday, they had buy three, get three free. For specifically back Black Friday, but I just wanted to buy one because that's all I wanted. And to get their their bag, for their, like their Black Friday bag, because I like that. I don't like, I haven't liked Bath and Body Works um, tote bag in a while, like the stuff that they put in it. And I didn't, I don't really like the bag as well, but so. Anyway, I got this one. This is grape, grapevine and oak, and it's a fruit thing. I'm on the last bit of stuff, and it shuts off because it's internally too hot. I I was running low on like my spring and summer scent, so that's what I bought because you know the tote bag that I got has all all like Christmas smells. Yeah, can't talk. Mm. It's just another like grape smell but it's a light grape smell because it's got that oak in there. Mm. It smells so nice. It just smells nice. I mean, this one, this is new to me and it's got the new pa new packaging on it. It is white sage. Well, it smells nice, and I plan to save this for when I move into my new house so that, you know, you know, sage helps promote, you know, um, good energies, pushes the bad energies out, all that such, because I don't want bad stuff in my house, so. Yes. The death. And here's the tote bag. It's a decent bag. It's okay. I don't know if I'll keep it, but. You know, I like it. It's a nice bag. Now, this is a relatively a blind opening. Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff I knew, like this thing I'm opening, I knew it was I knew it was coming with a candle topper. Well this is nice, it's a Christmas one. It's pretty. I don't know why they put it in a bag, but whatever. This thing. It's got big bubbles. Oh lord. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eh. And it's got little bubble wraps. Because that this little bubble wrap was pathetic. It is a uh tea light candle holder in the shape of a snowflake. I probably won't end up keeping this because I don't burn a lot of tea lights, even though the next thing I'm going I'm to pull out right now is a 12 pack box of Christmas cookie tea lights. I already have stuff to put tea lights in, but I don't know what, I'm, what I would do with this because I don't know, but it's nice. It's very nice. It's a solid, heavy chunk of glass right here. and. These I'm keeping because these are some nice smelling candles and I like that smell. But this, I don't know. And the candle toppers, I have ouch, like two now, which I am including the one that I got just today. But I don't usually use them because I'm afraid of getting them like all sooty. Next thing I have is this car jar smelly thing and it is sparkling cinnamon. These are nice to use, and you don't have to use them in your car. You can use it anywhere in your house, so long as it's not touching fabric. And I got a votive candle in the smell of spicy pepperberry and spruce. I don't know. It smells okay. I'd have to burn it to, to really get the smell. 
Now we get our small jar. No, small pillar. I gotta do something on my computer. I'm being stupid right now. Let's get this open. And it is Macintosh. Mmm, it just smells like good apples. This I probably will use in the fall because that's when apples usually like come into season. Mmm, it smells good. So yeah, for some, I don't know why they have it. Well, because you can make apple pies and it's good, uh, like apple pies sometimes usually good, you know, around Christmas time as well. Put some of the stuff actually back in here. And the last thing I have is the actual big, the big large jar. So I got technically three large jars for this season. My finger is hurting. I got. Ooh, it's a collector's edition of balsam and cedar. So it's just got like a different sticker on it. And it's, ooh, it's embossed. Like these snowflakes on here, I can actually feel them. Mm. I love, like I have a, a red berry and cedar candle burning right now. And I love the smell of the cedar burning. It's beautiful. And I think I've burned this before or I've had uh, like the, a non candle thing smelly candle non -ca smelly candle thing and love I really love the smell of cedar especially for Christmas time it smells beautiful it just smells beautiful to have something cedar like in your house around Christmas time it's beautiful now if you could get like a cedar Christmas tree, as you know, as I said, in the Christmas tree, that would probably be really nice to have because then it smells like cedar in your house all the time. But yeah, it's not that bad of a bag, and it's a nice haul. It's another heavy bag that all that stuff stuff over there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little haul that I had. If you did, you can hit that like button down there below. And I don't know, you can leave comments. Just don't be negative, don't be nasty because we do not need that in the world. I don't know what type of comments you should suggest to leave because my brain is a little fried right now. So, yeah. And if this is the first time you're watching my video, please hit that bigger subscribe button down there. Buy my picture for more hauls, book reviews, let's plays, unboxing, unbagging because something's come in a bubble mineral envelope or a plastic bag wrap thingy. Vlogmas, random vlogs, or random, random videos. I have no idea what to categorize. Now I gotta go write all that stuff down. Which won't be so bad. Oh, I'm just glad to be done that part. Because I want to relax more. Yeah. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.